Hello and welcome to the Budget Timekeeper. So today I have something different. Uh, normally I buy new watches. I sometimes buy used watches, pre-owned. This time what we have is basically a project watch. Let's put it that way. So on one of the Facebook groups, a guy was selling a lot of Ford watches. And I was only interested in one, so I made a deal with him just buy one of the watches. Now the condition isn't great, we'll find out soon. I haven't even opened it. But the watch was a bit interesting, so I thought I'll grab this and if everything goes well, I may need to clean it up a little bit, maybe get the battery changed, maybe, yeah, not maybe, but surely a little bit of buffing and the watch should be in good condition. So very excited because I normally don't buy stuff like this, but I'm ex excited for a project because new watches is fun, used watches in good conditions are fun, but sometimes refurbishing and repairing and you know bringing something back to its former glory is also kind of fun. And worst case scenario, if nothing, if I can't fix it, not a problem, I didn't spend much money. I paid like 600 bucks. So let's see what the watch looks like. I had started opening this up. I just got it. In fact, uh, he posted it yesterday, I think. So pretty good as far as the courier service is concerned. This came from Gujarat. And we have a nice little plastic box. Pretty as well. So, so really thingy. And moment of truth. Let's see if this is something we can salvage and turn into a gem. What is the watch? <laughs> Paper, paper, paper. Throw that newspaper out. Here it is. Let's move the box out of the way. And here we have. Oh, let's have a look. It's not that bad, to be honest. So obviously. It needs a bit of tender loving care. But as you can see, this is a rotary quartz. Is the bezel working? Should be. Maybe the bezel is fixed. Not sure. Could be. I don't mind either way. So as you all know, Rotary is one of my favorite brands. I like this brand. And so when I saw this for this cheap, I thought, okay, we can do something with this. So if you remember my rotary automatic, I bought this in 2006 brand new from the UK in London, uh, my first automatic watch that I bought. And also I have the rotary chronograph from 2000. I don't know what year this watch is from, but I bought it in 2003. So as you can see here, the pattern and the look is kind of similar. Okay. And yeah, obviously the thing lead a bit of buffing. But the look is kind of from the same period, I would say. Also notice the Mercedes um, hour hand, the lollipop second hand. So it is definitely in the same series or something. Proper clasp here. And let's see the back here. Oh, what do we have? You can see. Water resistant, uh, I think it has a reference number. Hard to see. I may have better luck watching the video afterwards. So what else do we have here is sapphire crystal, I think. It says sapphire, 100 meter water resistance. And obviously first thing I should do is clean it up a little bit. So what I do is I have this uh, cleaning rubbing alcohol. Just bought a small bottle from Amazon, like 100, 200. And you take your normal cleaning cloth, take a, you know, fiber cloth type thing, or just your normal thing. And just, uh, you know, clean it up a little bit. So, yeah, let's see what we're working with. Yeah, I'm happy um, if it's, they, they did say this is all original and it is working. So I'm happy with that. Obviously, the colors have faded completely. 
So I don't know if buffing would help. I mean, on the bracelet, it should definitely help. I don't know about the bezel, if that can be, you know, brought back, I guess. But I'm sure there are some ways to improve the look. And yeah, it's not bad at all. For what, 600 rupees, I think. Just a bit of cleaning and this could be usable. Obviously, is rust and stuff here. So, yeah, okay, not bad at all. So, has a date window. The crystal has, doesn't look too bad here. Because with something like this in used condition, you would think the crystal would be damaged, but maybe that's the beauty of the sapphire crystal. It doesn't get damaged easily. You can already see only started and there's a lot of cleaning to do. So anyway, I thought I'll just mention this. If you find something interesting, it can be very satisfying to fix up and clean something like this. Um, I'll give you an update once I've taken this to my watch guy. What I'm thinking is I'll ask them to buff it, see if they can do something about the bezel, have a look inside and change the battery if, it's, uh, if it needs a better one. Um, I'm not sure if the, they did say this was original, so hopefully it is hard to say, obviously. So we'll have a look inside. I mean, these guys use Miota movement from what I recall, um, both in automatics and the, uh, you can see here, it looks pretty much identical if you see. So. Pretty sure this is fine. There's no case bag and everything looks original. A good thing is I have an original to compare it with, but you can see it clearly from the same period, same design, same look. And yeah, not bad at all. Only thing I notice is maybe if you see the minute hand it's starting to show signs, but otherwise it's not bad at all. The dial is clean, glass is pretty much clean. Yeah, just the bezel is in the worst shape. Bracelet, you can see it's so uh, not cheap links here. Proper stainless steel stuff. The clasp isn't in the best shape. This is probably the worst condition. And yeah, so I'll take it to the watch guy, and see if they can clean it up. And I'll do the cleaning myself, but the buffing stuff, I think that I'll ask. But yeah, overall, very happy. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too much money to get this uh, in good shape. And size-wise, it looks uh, right. Same size you can see here almost. Let's see how big it is. I would say 35 to 37, something like that. Yeah, because with watches, it has to be something special before it gets me interested. So with the crown, it is 40. Um, without it, we are looking at about 37 and a bit. It's not the normal shape. We also have sort of an integrated bracelet. We won't have an easy time finding replacements for this one. Uh, we are looking at 40 roughly, I would say, 41 and a half. Thickness is nine, not bad. Of course, it's a quartz watch, so yeah. For 600 rupees, I'm very happy. I'll probably end up spending another maybe 1,000 to get this buffed out, battery changed, cleaned up. And yeah, it should be a good watch, a good companion. I'm just surprised how similar and how close they are in looks. But yeah, uh, I, this is my third rotary now, and I'm very happy. You can see the bracelet is also similar pattern. Anyway, hope this was different and interesting. I'll update you in the future when this is shiny and cleaned up. And hopefully, uh, yeah, it is a good watch at the end of the day.